Last month, we went out to Austin, Texas to meet up with the short game guru of golf, Dave Pels. We had the opportunity to go to his backyard. And for me, I went one-on-one -on -one with Dave to talk about putting, the new rules of 2019, and the best way to throw your putter if you miss a putt. Check it out right here on Golf Life. USGA, PGA, they had a sit down. They made some new rules for the 2019 season. They did. What are some of the rules that stood out to you? Well, well, they they really their avowed purpose was to simplify the rules, and so they they've actually added new ones, but they've decreased some of them. They've eliminated some. The one that I thought was the most enjoyable for me was to leave the pin in while you're putting. You know, in the old days, people used to do that. And it turns out you hole about 30% more chip shots and putts if you leave the pin in, if the ball hits the pin, than if you take it out. Because a lot of the balls that you think would go in when the pin's not in there, lip out. They don't stay in. They hit the, not the very edge, but they hit the side of the cup and they go out. So really it's smart to leave the pin in when you putt from all distances. A lot of people don't like to. Some of the pros, Brian DeChambeau is, is leaving it in pretty much most of the time. And the last tournament I was at at the Dell, oh shoot, half the field was leaving it in on longer putts over about 20, 25, 30 feet. So it, it's, it, it'll speed up the game. I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for golfers if they leave the pin in. You being the short game guru that you are, see you can help me a little bit on my putting? Uh, only if I see a putt. Okay. Take a putt. I mean, I have to know your tendencies. What do you What do you worry about in putting? Do you miss left, right, short, long? One thing that I struggle on is not getting the right distance and not hitting it, not hitting it on my line that I want to hit it on. Other than that, other than line and distance, you're good, huh? <laughs> I'd like. <laughs> Well, no, I'm, I'm literally everything. But those uh, are the two things that I think. Well, uh, really, there are two things in putting, line and distance. <laughs> and if you're weak in both of them, you need some help. So look, line tends to be very intuitive. Get a putter that you can aim that has some alignment on it. You know, the two ball putter, I, I've invented that because I tested and people aim it better. But I see you're putting with nice lines on that putter. That's a... Uh, I think it's a soft touch putter, but but it, it's a Huntington Beach, a very nice putter, but aim it and let me see where you're aiming. You're a little bit outside left. So that what that means to me is he aims left and he pushes. If I tell him to aim straight, he's gonna miss everything right. So you gotta be aware that you need to practice aiming with a laser beam or some, we, we teach in our schools with a laser beam. And we, we have the golfer say yes, and then the laser comes on and shows him where he's aiming because if you don't learn to aim right, it's a difficult thing. Now, for speed, are you aware, first off, that the ball should roll 17 inches by the hole? You will make the most of any uh, that you can possibly make with your skill if you roll each putt at a speed when it gets to the hole, that if it misses, it goes 17 inches by. If you roll them faster than that, you get more lip outs. If you roll them slower than that, it uh, hits the vagaries of the green and you miss the cut more. So let me see you roll that putt to this ball and just happen to roll it right through the hole. Roll it right through that hole to this ball. See, imagine that that hole has a cover on it. It's an invisible cover. Can't make it, just roll it right over it to that ball. Well, that was very weak. That ball would not have gone past here. So his speed control isn't very good. What I recommend is getting a, a device that we sell in, in uh, retail stores called the Phony Hole. And it's just a real thin piece of rubber that's black that you put anywhere on the green and practice putting to it and roll it right across it. The ball can't go in and try to try to get it 17 inches by. It's half the length of your putter, 17 inches. You're not gonna miss them coming back. That's the magic speed at which you will make the most putts. Now Dave, I got one last question for you. Okay. Have you ever got frustrated on the golf course? And what's your thought on throwing the putter? <laughs> throwing the putter. Only throw it if no one's in the way uh, and there's no water and uh, you don't think the shaft will break when it hits. If you can throw them horizontally like this, yeah. then they hit and they bounce. If you throw them up or down, the shafts tend to break. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so if it relieves your tension, uh, step back, realize that you haven't practiced enough. There's nothing in golf that should really frustrate you in my view, most people really want to play good, but they don't want to practice. If you get a backyard like this, 
you love the practice, and you'll play better, and then you won't ever get frustrated. Dave, thank you very much. Appreciate it.